In this video, I'm going to show you how to cook corned beef like the deli. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to give you a secret on how to cook corned beef like the deli. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to make the perfect deli style corned beef. You know how it's really sliced thin and it's not all shredded and you know it's hard to eat. Mm -mm. So I'm going to show you how to make the perfect corned beef. Now I don't um, use uh, tap water. I use bottled water to uh, put my corned beef in. So I have five bottles now. And I also wash my corn beef. I always wash my meat. So I hope that you guys wash your meat too. Any kind of meat, I, you know, all except for ground turkey or ground chicken or anything like that. You can't really wash that, but any other kind of meat, please wash them. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I wash it and then put it in the pot to cook. It at least take about two hours, two and a half hours, depending upon how big it is. You see, this is not really too big. And then, you know, it also shrinks when um, you cook it. So stay tuned, guys. Hang on. Okay, guys, I'm about to wash my hands here. Even though they were already clean, but I just want to make sure that you guys know that I do wash my hands before cooking. Even though I wash them, I just wanted to do it online so that you can see on the video. So nice and clean here. I am about to open up the corn beef so that I can wash it off and then get ready to place it in the pot. And let it cook for about two and a half hours or more. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take the strainer, I'm gonna sit it in the sink. And then we're going to open it. And we're gonna open it like so. Just pull it open like that. And there we have it. And I am just gonna put it into the strainer, right? And it normally comes with the packet. I'm going to turn on the water here. While the meat is in the strainer. And here's the packet of seasonings that it comes with. And I know a lot of guys probably do not uh, wash their corned beef. But I do. Um, I wash all my meat. Except for the ones that I can't wash. Like ground turkey i don't eat ground beef well i don't purchase it um or ground beef or ground chicken can't really wash that meat so you know just rinse it off right and i also um cook my um food with bottled water i don't use tap water um to cook it with Okay, so I'm going to get ready to place this in the pot, and I'll see you in one moment. All right, so we're moved over to the stove. I got my pot ready to place the corned beef in. I've already washed it, so see how big it is. So this is the corned beef. So we're just going to place it in the pot, right? And remember the packet of seasoning that came with it. So here's the packet of seasoning. I've already opened it. So I'm just going to put that on there. Sprinkle it on there and there. 
And as I told you before, I don't cook with tap water. So I have five 16 ounces. We see if that works. Let me turn on the stove here. All right. So we're going to put it on medium. We just kind of pour the water in. And you know, again, this take like two and a half to maybe three hours, depending upon the size of the corned beef. And this is not really a big, um, I mean, not neat vibe. Doesn't look like it. Because you just want enough water to cover it, right? So that's two. Maybe just one more. So I'm going to do the third one. And then we're going to let that cook for about two and a half hours or more. And I'm going to share the secret of how you can cook the perfect corned beef where it's not shredded or stringy and tough to eat. You know, you can slice it like the deli. That's how I like to make mine. I like onion rolls and rye bread with the Swiss cheese and the sauerkraut and the uh, Reuben dressing. So, yeah. So, we're going to let this cook for about two hours and I will uh, come back and tell you the secret of how you can just cook the perfect corned beef that you can just slice like the deli and it's not shredded you know it's not hard to eat it is absolutely delicious so stay tuned for the secret guys and if you're watching the video and enjoying it make sure you hit that like button and if you're new turn on your post notifications and if you want to know the secret comment in the section uh in the comment section what's the secret and I will tell you. Okay, guys, so this is how the corned beef is looking right now. It has cooked all the way down. It's been cooking for over two and a half hours. So it is ready. So we're gonna turn off the stove. We're gonna take it, let it cool for a minute, take it out of the pot, plate it, and then you know, just let it cool. And then I'm going to tell you the secret on how you let it cool down. And then we're going to slice it. Okay? Okay, guys. <clears throat> so I've taken the corned beef out of the pot, as you've seen. And I just put it in a plate. And here's the secret, guys. This is how we're going to let it cool. We're going to place this in the refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes. Let it cool. And then after then, we're going to slice it. So that is the secret, guys. So we'll see. And it'll slice just like the deli. I wish I had a cutter, but I don't. So I will be slicing it with my knife. But it won't be shredded you know, and all stringy or anything like that and hard to eat. So, stay tuned for that. Okay guys, just as promised, the perfect corned beef that slices like the deli, but you're at home and it's not stringy or, you know, just shreddy and you can't eat it. You can slice it, put it on rye bread, onion roll however and the secret is again is when it's cooked let it sit for a minute on the stove just to warm down and then you're going to put it in a container or a plate wrap it up put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes to half an hour let it cool and then you'll be able to slice it like this as you see i've already begun slicing you know look at that doesn't that look good? Perfectly sliced. Not stringy at all. So I'm going to show you how it slices. So I'm going to just cut, begin to cut for you. Just a few slices. See how that just sliced down? 
just life not stringy and I'm gonna you know slice a few pieces so that you can see it's not stringy at all perfect slices now I wish I had the meat slicer <laughs> but I don't but maybe soon and so I used to not cook per corned beef purposely because see how look at the cut look at that perfect not stringy not falling apart or anything and I'm just slicing just slicing perfect mm -hmm. I used to purposely not cook corned beef because I did not like that it was stringy and it was shred or anything like that so I would not cook it purposely for that because I didn't like you know that it was stringy and shreddy so I'm just gonna couple of, cut a couple of more pieces just to show you how smooth it cuts as you see I am just slicing just slicing away and it's make perfect slices something that you can eat and not worry about choking on it because it's all stringy and shreddy remember how when your parents would cook it and it would be all shreddy and stringy it would be good but you really couldn't eat it eat it without thinking you're gonna choke so that is the secret guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button and if you're new subscribe to the channel guys well thanks for watching and listen if you do try and cook the corned beef or when you do cook it leave a comment below and let me know if this little trick or this little hack or this little helpful hint helped you out because it surely did help me and to get the perfect slice corned beef at home and you'll see the pictures of the corned beef that I like on rye with Swiss and pepper jack cheese, pickles, and all that goodness you'll see at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later. Bye. Perfectly sliced corned beef, you see? It looks good. Nothing shredded. Perfect. Look how good that looks. Now that's without the fixings because our family, we like sauerkraut and the Thousand Island and pickles. So look how good that looks. With the Swiss cheese and the pepper jack on rye bread with pickle. And then I'm going to come back and show you with all the fixings. This is good eating, guys, and it's a perfectly sliced corned beef sandwich that you can have at home, too, without all the stringy and shreddy corned beef. This corned beef is just like the deli that you guys pay $10 and $12 for when you can have it at home. Spend $10 or $12 or $15 or however much you pay for your corned beef and cook it at home and save you some money. And here's the corned beef with all the toppings, the mustard, the Russian dressing or Thousand Island dressing, pickle on rye with Swiss and pepper jack cheese. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, just a friendly reminder, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Guys, come on. Um, I hope you guys have a great evening. And when you cook your corned beef, I hope it tastes as good or not or better than mine. So comment below and let me know how it turns out. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the kitchen at another time. And also comment below some of the things that you might want to see me cook. Okay?